Yes, hello, 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 family. Uh, the Gabriel Farms team. So today I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. It's been a while <laughs> since I've been on the, the channel. So I'm in the, in the kitchen, and so what we are doing, uh, we are not cooking. Um, what are we cooking today, Papi? We are cooking aloe vera soap. Yes. So we are not to cooking the normal food you would expect. So we are busy here cooking soap. So like I said, you know, from the beginning, if you watch our videos, we want to, to be sustainable as possible. And now uh, here we are busy trying out to make a uh, soap, you know, the bathing soap made out of uh, aloe vera. And I think there's also a video, I don't know which video is that, uh, where we showed, you know, um, us growing aloe vera at the farm. So we are in our swap up and we just want to show you guys, um, you know, some of the processes we go through when we are making our own soap here at home. So yes, uh, maybe before I introduce what is on the table here, just follow me. So um, we have yes, the aloe vera leaf without wasting time. Okay. So now here we are. We are now in the backyard. Wow, it's raining today. Saturday, 25th, the 25th, 25th September. And it's raining, wow. So yeah, this is the aloe that we have been uh we kept this for quite some times now and you can see uh, maybe because of the benefits the household members <laughs> have been using this aloe like crazy you can just see so we have now topics to get the best leaves so yeah Yeah, so we are back in the kitchen, so this is what we have uh, harvested. So then what you have to do next is to put this aloe, you know, in the water, because what you don't want, you see, in the aloe there is that white gel that you you get in the middle of the, the leaf. So, but there is also that latex, that yellow latex, you see, this one, and this is what you don't want. Because, uh, you know, this, this aloe um, latex, the yellow one, I understand, it causes allergies um, in some people. So you, you want that yellow uh, gel to drip out. So, and the best way to do it is to, you know, just to soak these aloe leaves in the, in the water. So, yeah. Okay. In the meantime, while the, the, aloe, um, the aloe leaves are, uh, are dripping, I just want to take you through, can I get a cloth? Let me just get a cloth. I just want to take you through uh, this whole process of, uh, of soap making. Um, okay, Papi, just give me a space. So basically, you know, um, the, uh, the soap, you know, the soap are made up of, uh, generally they are made up of, uh, of two components which is mainly the fat, number one, and the lye. And the lye, this is uh, just an alkaline, um, which is sodium hydroxide. And the function of this lye is really just to, um, what are they saying, converting the fat into alcohol and, uh, uh, what is it? Into alcohol, I think I have mentioned, I have um, noted it here. Yeah, it's to convert the, the, the fat into the soap itself and alcohol so that that fat you know it absorbs all the fat that is really in the oil so that you you really don't have an oily um soap so to say and yeah you do that with sodium um, hydroxide mm. yeah so but in addition now to the lye and uh fat you can add other 
uh, ingredients such as uh, of course water i think water is also one of the most important you have to add water but you in addition to that you can either add um additives such as essential oil just to give it a flavor as you can see here we have uh, lavender um, which is uh, an essential a herbal essential oil uh, ex extracted from lavender and uh, we also have um, vitamin e which is very good for your skin and uh, i know this uh, oil or vitamin is very essential in uh, of course the skin because it's a strong it's a powerful antioxidant and you really just add it in to enrich your soap at the end of the day and uh what else yeah there's also grape seed grape seed is also you know uh, this is a essential oil it really just also to enrich the, the the soap what else yeah in addition to the oils we do have uh, the colorant here basically you know what we have food colorant you know if, if we you can eat it then it should be very safe you know for to be used on a human body yeah so this color and is really just to give the soap that color um, so that you don't have just a raw um, uh, product at the end of the day yeah so but then we, you know it, it, it involves a bit of uh, formulation because then you need to know the amount of oil that you need to put in the soap you need to to know the amount of that lye uh, of which let me just show them this is the lye which is basically sodium hydroxide that comes in uh, as, as solids or as cubes so you get this from your local your local pharmacy you can get it from your local pharmacy and um yeah so you need to know the composition of all this like the proportion of all what we are talking about here the proportion proportion of oil the proportion of lye proportion of water uh, and the proportion of the extra additives that you have to add in your in your soap Yeah, so And another thing maybe to add, you know, you can make your soap with different types of oil like you can combine let me say uh, olive oil with uh, Maybe sunflower oil um, With uh, coconut oil as you are going to see for this particular one. We are going to use uh, coconut oil uh, and uh, Olive oil. Yeah, that combination and it's really up to you um, how you want to combine. Uh, and what I have here, the formula that we are going to to uh, use is we want to use 80% of coconut oil and then 20% uh, of 20% uh, of olive oil. And and of course that can be dictated by price. You know, olive oil, oil is very expensive, and coconut oil we also just like the flavor. Yeah, so yeah it, it's the formula is dictated by a lot of things and, okay. all right so now we are done uh formulating our soap now the next thing that you need to do is now to that we need to do is to to peel the you know the aloe because what we need we are not going to use the whole aloe leaf we are going to use the gel which is the most uh, bioactive component of aloe so the the easiest way to do this is really just to trip to cut off the edge the thumb you know this part and then you cut off this too i hope i'm doing it perfectly well Okay, so once you are done with that So You can actually just remove this uh, I don't know I'm, I'm right-handed so I hope I'm not doing it away from From the video But I hope you can see Because the idea is really just to remove the The gel To remove the gel and then the spoon is the best tool actually to do this <clears throat> so you can see after soaking the leaves in the water that whole yellow uh, latex or gel uh, is out so you have a clean a clean clear gel so 
for now you just really just to scoop out the gel the one that you need for your soap for you to call it an aloe soap okay so and yes so this is what you have you can see it's a clear gel and you just place it here in this bowl and then yeah so basically this is done for, for the the leaf is done you go to the next one i hope we are going to do this first okay just bring that okay so do it first you know the, this this uh the reason why we are using alo uh, i hope this is supposed to be uh out there that alo is one of the most bioactive plant which uh, has a healing property actually skin healing property wounds and and things like that and then it can also treat acne so I, I have seen a lot of people in different culture using aloe uh, for the same reason as, as either as a, a soap, as, as, a, as a product or as, a, as an agent to treat different ailments such as, um, what is the other one? Yeah, wounds, stomach ache and, and things like that. So we are also just taking advantage of the of the benefit associated with aloe vera to use it as a soap and this is not our first time using it we have we've been using aloe quite some times now as as, as our, our skin product here at home it's not com commercialized it's just a, a home remedy that we use as a you know for our skin care Okay, so yeah, I hope the gel is coming right. The gel is coming right. Gel is coming right. And I should also say, you know, like in Namibia, when you are talking about aloe vera, people think the wild aloe that they see that's the aloe the aloe vera actually that people are talking about that is known to be medicinal which is not the case so aloe vera is, is a alien or exotic in namibia so the ones that you find is you either find them in you can buy them in the zoos like this one we bought it here in, in the nursery in the nurseries here yeah, sorry in the nursery we bought it here in swakop and they are quite pricey so if you check their prices because i mean it's, it's not a, a local not a local herb but you also find those wild ones that are locally available here and people are using them for the same purpose especially there in the villages when their chickens are sick they you know just take a leaf and put in the water and uh, i i guess maybe they also assist in that regard okay yeah so we are done with that my helper is doing a good job mr christian gabriel you know he's also very fascinated to in in this kind of uh, project i hope one day you come up with a product a facial product or a, yeah that will change the whole public health uh issue in namibia maybe it will be that soap that will uh kill all these diseases that are that are of, of a problem in namibia and remember all the diseases i hope it's going to be that soap that kills 100 percent of germs yeah you see when you are seeing the advertisement for soaps it's always killed 99.99 mm -hmm. percent it's never a hundred percent day so i hope you come up with that that will kill you know the protex yeah Protex kills about 90, is it 98 point something? Yeah. 99.9. They oh, say 99.99 99 also. <laughs> mm. So that claims means that, theirs is 99.9. So that, that's 100, that's an effect, that's all you want. I mean, so, and, and I hope you'll be now that guy who will come up with 
a local soap because I know Protex is it locally produced? I doubt so. I think it's South African. South African. So I hope you will come up with that soap that that is going to help us to curb uh, this whole issue of uh, what 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 is the other um, uh, is it hepatitis? Hepatitis. Yeah. So you you can see all these diseases diseases are uh, associated with uh, hygiene. Yeah. You know. So and I was just reading the history of um, what is this? A life boy or what is the soap? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, they are saying yeah. it was one. It, it was once the the um, the microbiologist or the 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 the, the founder. Or how should I put it? Mm -hmm. The founder of that soap. Um. You know, he. It was he. He developed it during the I think First World War. When there was a, I think a certain disease, uh, um, and the soldiers, you know, used to to use it to to you know just so that they prevent protect themselves from that particular disease. So mm. you can see, public health has come a long way, yeah. and it, that soap is, is is still doing well today with different flavor but back in the days i think the smell was horrible <laughs> the smell was quite unpleasant but i loved it i believed in yeah. it so much yeah so yeah, i think it's, it's all about hygiene What we ended up with uh, the gel, the aloe gel. So what you need, you need to blend this gel so that uh, you have a, a fine liquid. You know? So we have a blender. We actually have, we actually have, a, we actually have a different. We have two blender. I prefer to use this one for to blend the gel. So. I hope I don't spill this. So basically you just put it in here. You put it in here. You know. So that you you blend it. Is it on? Fine. Yeah. So this is the so this is the alo this is the alo gel. I guess it's uh it's it's done. So what you do from here from here you we have to free we have to freeze this uh freeze yeah we have to freeze to freeze we have to put it on the deep freezer we have to. To, to fridge uh, not fridge but we have to freeze <laughs> sorry we have to freeze this uh, gel you know uh, and I will explain why we have to do that I hope it will cover all this Oops. yeah I will explain why you have to why you have to freeze it Okay. So nice and smooth. Yeah, it's like uh, it's a smooth for smoothie. The smoothie for for weight loss. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So this is the gel. Then what you do? You put it in the freezer. 
you put it in the freezer not the reason why you have to to freeze the the aloe gel is because you know it's in the aloe gel that you're going to you know dissolve this uh sodium hydroxide and then this sodium hydroxide is very corrosive also you know it needs to be um i mean operating at low temperature help it not to erupt and uh, yeah so basically that's the main 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 reason for you know just freezing the the aloe gel and i mean here we also we, we are we are a bit ignorant in a way but you suppose if you are working with sodium hydroxide supposed to have some uh a mask so a mask and gloves i think uh, glasses you know mm -hmm. just so that you you protect yourself and yeah even the gloves you know but unfortunately we don't have these things uh, at home now and and i i really want to show our viewers you know this whole process of making soap but we are trying to we will try to be extra careful as possible so yeah so now we are waiting for the for the for the aloe so the next thing is really just to weigh our oil and based on the formula here based on the formula let me see okay uh we need about let me start with the lie 82 so we have the scale here here is our scale okay so we need about 82 okay let me just tie it okay we need about 82 i can make 83 and the spatula i was having a plastic spoon around here I should have, if not there. Let me see. Yeah, so we need about, according to the formula that we have here, we need about 82.5 lie. Maybe just to add to add to, to this whole concept of adding sodium hydroxide in the in the soap formula, it's really also just to form that form. You know, the form when you are bathing is formed because of uh, this. Okay. You said Did I say eighty-two point five? So I need roughly. Uh, one thing also, this this scale I think is not a zero. Yeah, it's okay. Roughly, I think it's okay. You don't get, I think, 80, 0 point something. Mm -hmm. Just a one minute, okay? So we have, this is what we need for the formula, based on the formula. And uh, what is the other thing that we need is the oil, okay? Allow me, Tapi. The oil. Okay. The oil. okay so the oil for for the for coconut oil we need 500 grams okay excuse me puppy we need 500 thank you 500 grams i hope maybe it's the whole oil that we have here you never know did i say 500 or 400 500. we need 400 which might not be enough. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think that will be enough. So we might have to compensate with other oils. That will probably come to 300 only. Yep, 315. 315. Okay. okay. Um, so that means... Fine. It's fine. So then that means... Do you think you can compensate the rest with um, sunflower oil? Okay. So I, I can see the coconut oil. <laughs> it's not what we anticipated. So it, it's a few. We don't have enough. 
But that's not a problem. We are going to compensate that with uh, sunflower oil. Still have sunflower oil here just to compensate that thing. It's about 90, yeah, 85. 85. Yeah, so we are going to put 85 grams of uh, sunflower oil. So, but with the coconut oil for now, we are just going to put it back. We know the amount 315. Yeah, so we are just going to we are going to compensate to compensate that with uh, cooking oil, sunflower cooking oil. You said eight five, right? Yes, I had eighty five. Right, eight five. So you can see I don't drink alcohol, I don't do drugs, so exactly what you need. Right? Okay, take that back, Mr. Christian. Okay, so I can put it just here, it's fine. And then in addition in addition to the coconut oil, the sunflower oil, then we are going to add the olive. We are going to add olive oil. How much is of it do we need? A hundred. Oh, okay. We just need a hundred. Not so much. Okay, exactly what we need. Exactly what we need. So, um, it's fine. This I can also just add here. It's okay. I also just want to add to say, you know, if you look at uh, the composition of this soap uh, that we are going to just make now, looking at the ingredient that you use, they are a bit expensive. Looking at the olive oil, coconut oil, because I know coconut is not uh, it's not produced here. It's not a tradition. It's not a yeah. It's not a local, not local oil. You they are imported from somewhere. But <clears throat> I just want to add to say you don't have to go this route. You don't have to use this type of oil. And and uh, like I said, the main composition of soap is really just fat. Even animal fat, um, you can use that. And I think it's the best because. Any saturated fat is, I think, is the best because it can give that hardness. If you are making a, a, a bar soap, it can give that hardness uh, instead of using this expensive olive oil, coconut oil, and all that. Okay, so the gel is in the fridge. Uh, different compositions are measured. The water, you know, the water in the form of ice are here. So, and this is what we are going to use to dissolve the lye. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this ice cube and then uh, mix it with, uh, with lye. I hope you can, you can mix it with lye. And like I said, the, the rule of the thumb is that it's either the ratio in composition and the ratio of lye and uh, and the water is either it's equal or the water is more because it's the water that you are using to you know to dissolve sodium hydroxide.
Yeah, so you can see the the lye and the water is almost there. So now it's time to add the the aloe, the aloe gel, which is a bit cool because it has to be. You know, if we have to add it on the, you know, on the in this concent concentration, it also have to be somehow. I think it's it's okay for now. So now the next thing, you have your lye, you have your lye, water, aloe uh, mixture. So the next thing is really just now to combine everything together to mix the lye uh, mixture, gel, water with the, with the oil. So unfortunately, I don't know if I have a, a bigger container than this. Uh, but I think this, I hope this will be able to accommodate all this mixture. So yes, this is our, this is our oil mixture. So I'm going to pour this. I think you might need a bigger container. I might need a, can I put here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I think this, this one is big enough. So I hope they will be able to see inside. Just to see how everything will turn out to be. So I'm going to pour my oil in this container, which is already mixed and measured and measured. Yes. And then I'm going to add this mixture of lye, water and gel into the oil. Okay. I'm going to. And what you need there, you need to mix this thoroughly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that with the help of a blender. Continue mixing for about five minutes, but um, please do note that if you are not doing this with um, an electric mixer or a whisk, you might need to do it longer so um it's really best if you are having an electric mixer to help you with the mixing yeah so the next thing that i want to see i want to to add uh, one of the additives which is the the vitamin e vitamin e yeah i hope you can see this vitamin e which is uh, very good for our skin. And I think this is one of the vitamins you find in most of the soap or even the, the lotion. Okay, so I'm just going to add, not so much because it's just an additive. Yeah, so just a bit of that. Then I mix, okay. Before I mix, then I add the grape grape seed oil essential oil a good thing maybe let me just remove this if i'm able to okay so really just to, to enhance the quality to enhance the quality of the soul and in addition to that at this point let me also add i hope it's not going to evaporate if i add it at this point Okay, let me add the lavender as a, a flavoring um, essential oil. Okay, I hope we all know that lavender smells so good and you'll find it in most of the product. Okay, I, I guess that's enough. Okay, but okay, let me just mix now. After all this editing, before I come to the color and so on and so on. The next, the next step is really just to, to change the color, just to enhance the color a little bit from the, the raw brownish, light brown to 
I have a uh, this is a green one. It's apple, apple green. This is apple green. And what I want to do is really just to mix. I also have a uh, gentian violet. But what I want to do is really just to mix this color and see what I will turn out to. Because I, I, I really don't want the green soap, uh, that green, traditional green coming out. That's a lot. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. There's a lot of chemicals. You never know what might happen. To what might, it. yeah, the interaction here. Eh? Mm -hmm. So first, um, I would want to see the green. Okay. Can you mix and then we see okay. what it looks like? mix you know the mixture is fine the thickness is fine and i'm sure it will get better with time so the next thing that we are going to do is really just to pour the content in the in the mold and we have two molds here because this content is just too much the content is too much so the other thing let me just Make some space here. The other thing that you that I think you need to we need to be careful is the what is in here. I think that's the one the way you mixed. Okay. The other contents. Just clean. Yeah. So the other thing you you see that we have a thin a thin plastic here. Just make sure. Switch on this. I think plastic here. This is really just to make it easier at the end of the day, you know, to remove the the soap. Yeah. Just to remove the soap at the end of the day. Let me see if it will fit. Definitely. I think it will be directed more. This is your point. Okay. Hope it's not short here. Okay. Yeah. So this is the mold. We don't have the best of molds, but this is what we have at the moment. So this is now what uh, th this is where you pour. And at the end of the day, once you have your bar soap, you can cut them in different shapes as you want. Different shape, rectangular, square, you name it. So I'm just going to pour this in the mold or just container. Wow. I think it's a nice color. It is an ugly color. Really? The, the color is so it it looks more Over, brown. Overpowered it, by it which it looks more masculine. Such uh, that before No wonder why most of these lodges uh, you you always find this color. Have you noticed? Yeah. But I, I've also seen somebody adding clay to or maybe it's part of the composition. Oh, the clay. Clay. maybe it's for the expo exfoliating yeah. Uh, benefits. Yeah, Before so. you pour that into the other mold, can we add more violet and see what happens? Okay. Maybe. I don't want them to be the same color since we are going to have two anyways. Okay. Can I pour again? Maybe just to make sure that it's full. Okay. Yeah. This is a you can see it's an enriched soap. For the second mold, we decided that we wanted to play around or experiment a little bit with the colors. Uh, mind you, we have made aloe vera soap at home before, but we have never tried to color it. So um, we ended up, we usually end up with a whitish, creamish, 
original soap but for this one we wanted a little bit of color so we uh, played around with um, more green apple green food coloring and a little bit of gentian violet at the end of the day um, the mixture was more green although somewhat we were convinced that um, all the chemical reactions are going to take place and uh, we weren't really sure whether we will end up with a green soap but they um we were done mixing it um and then my husband is busy pouring into the second mold it was not quite a, an attractive green but um uh, yeah that's what we ended up with and voila we had our second mold filled all right um it's exactly five days after making this soap this two soap uh, which were made on Saturday and today is Thursday so what I'm going to do is really just to demonstrate to you um, or just to show you how the soap has turned out to be and then just to see if it's really uh, a soap <laughs> yes and, I, and I'm sure that's what you you are looking forward to to really see if it's forming foam and, and so on and so on so as you can see this soap has solidified it has solidified it's just a normal soap it has solidified and uh, if you remember very well in this soap uh, we yeah this we we have put in the colorant we put in the colorant and this one you can see the color is totally different from this one this is a bit greenish you know uh, on top but if you check down here, uh, it's a bit purplish. Can you say purplish or pinkish? Sorry, pinkish purplish at the top. Cause uh, what did, what color did we put it? We put in a uh, what color was that? I think purple and green. Yeah, we put purple and and green. I think. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just really just to cut it to cut a piece, and then uh, just see uh, if washing our hands will uh you know make this soap to just make that form that everybody expecting so yeah let me try now to cut just to cut and of course you see that most of the soap makers they try to come up with different shapes different shapes and, and I just like, I, I like the fact that this soap is nicely solid, you know, and it's a clear indication that the water content was good, you know, because it wasn't that much compared to, to the, compared to the line, uh, the, the lye and, uh, and the water ratio was very, very good. And yeah, so basically, Tapi, what we are going to do, I'm going to give you a piece or maybe you can use one piece, just one small piece. I'll just come closer. Maybe somewhere here. Just to show you, I'll wash my hands. You know? Wash my hands with this. You can see. This is a alo aloe vera gel. Not aloe vera gel, but aloe vera soap. Organic. Made at home. You see? You can wash yourself with a soap, you see, and, and, and the good part is that you know the ingredients, we have added some enhancements, and Papi, I just also want you to try it, just try it, wow, and I like the smell, you know, the essential oil that we have added, the, what essential oil did we add it? Lavender yeah, we, we put we put lavender essential oil. Yeah, so it's just a normal soap, and this is actually something that you can do at home. Oh, oopsie! I'll bring it back to you. Yeah, so it's just a normal soap, and um, I think what 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 I can say about um, the the function of this soap, uh, since aloe vera is known as a you know as a uh, as a what? How do you call it? As, as, a, as a skincare uh, uh, agent, 
Uh, I think it would be nice to uh, use it in your face. I don't think it's a problem to use it in your face. I don't think it's a problem to use it on your body because uh, I think it's also a good uh, moisturizer, so to say, because of that slimy, uh, you know, property of aloe vera. And yeah, so with this, I, I hope you have really learned something from this video and we'll keep uh, updating or um, shooting more video, more educative videos of this nature. Uh, and please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. And share the so that you know, we get motivated, we reach a lot of audience out there.